So folks, I was gonna order two brand, well actually, let me, let me correct myself. I did order two brand new Ford Super Duty trucks back in September. Before I ordered them, I talked to the Ford dealership to see how the strikes, you know, the UAW strikes were affecting production. And at that time, the Super Duty plants were not part of that strike. So they were still in operation and continuing to work. So they said lead times on those were actually pretty reasonable and that I should see one of them in October, the other one in November. Anyway, October came and went and I don't pay attention to all the UAW strike status that's going on. Just catch a headline here and there when it's in the news. But I followed up uh, shortly before Thanksgiving because we were getting towards the end of November and seeing where the heck these things are at. And turns out, it would have been nice if I would have been told about this, but uh, that the strikes had affected the Super Duty plants and that they were shut down and stopped operation. And uh, the idea behind me buying both of these trucks was to get them in this year, this calendar year, this tax year, 2023, uh, to use them for um, tax write-off purposes there. So part of, part of those vehicles on there, that was the intent. So anyway, I heard back from the Ford dealer and he said, no, we don't have a date right now. There's no good dates on there. I said, well, how are we looking to get these in 2023? Is that still gonna happen or not? He said, eh, I don't think so. You're looking at 2024, uh, January probably to get them, which <clears throat> I don't, you know, what good's a prediction when anything can happen, right? So that doesn't mean a whole lot of, of anything. When I said, can I cancel these orders? And he said, you sure can. And uh, I said, well, give me over Thanksgiving break to, to think about it and I'll decide what I want to do. But at this point, I'm canceling my orders. So it's, I still have the opportunity to do that without any cost incurred to me. But in 2024, that's just, I'm, I miss my window of opportunity. So I can go buy something that's off a lot somewhere, maybe get a, a better deal on a, on a year-end closeout or something like that too versus special ordering something. Sure, it has all the options I want and, and, and set up exactly the way that I want, but in my mind, essentially, Ford just missed out on 200 grand in sales because of being on strike and shutting production down for however long that they did it. And so that's just one, one instance of where something like that can happen. And you wonder how many customers, how many businesses might have done the same thing or switched over to GM or to Ram or some other brand too because of of this. I don't know if that affected uh, the other plants and the other from the other brands as well or not but it's just one of those things where I thought about that as as uh, just being a business owner too right like if I, I don't have a union <laughs> I don't have union employees we're just a, a small shop here too but man but there's such huge repercussions of of something like this and i understand wanting uh better pay better benefits all that kind of stuff too but you're also hurting yourself then as well right you're asking for more but you're potentially risk putting some of that at risk too taking away some security um when you get paid more generally the product price is going to go up as well so all these things have other other factors that come into play and uh and sometimes you don't see it personally but in, in this case, they lost 200 grand in orders because of that decision. And I know that's a drop in the bucket. That's just a, that gets swept into the trash can over there at a company like Ford. But if you times that by who knows how many people then, or maybe if you add that factor on top of a lot of other factors that are, that are all coming to a head at one point, then you can really start to wind up in a, in a bad situation. You hear about layoffs happening at these plants and stuff too, when they have, um, you know, when they're looking to go in a different direction or if um, the outlook isn't as promising or if they need to cut costs to get their stockholders happy. And so it's just another another risk that comes into play. And I just thought it was interesting thinking about how the, that kind of a decision from the worker side of things where, I, again, I'm not knocking them for doing it, but maybe there's a better way to do that where they could have still made their case and prevented this kind of a situation from happening because that's really not a good outcome for them. If they wanna have job security and get more pay raises in the future, but they do harm to the, to the top line, well, how is that gonna roll down to them in a, 
in a positive way in the long run. So they may have won in the short term, but lost in the long run. We are proud to be sponsored by RimGuard Solutions, a liquid ballast weight. It goes right inside your tires, completely hidden. Not only is it gonna help with safety, keeping those rear tires planted on the ground, it helps with loader efficiency and traction too. The benefits of RimGuard include being the heaviest all natural liquid ballast weight on the market. It's not gonna corrode your rims like the old calcium chloride. It's not gonna freeze. And it's available at over a thousand dealers nationwide. Find the dealer near you at RimGuardSolutions.com. So again, this has nothing to do with uh, with rubbing rubbing you the wrong way on the union or anything like that. It's just more of a of a outsider looking in at the repercussions of that decision because I I've made a lot of videos on Ford. I I love my Ford trucks, and this is going to be my fifth and sixth Super Duty, something like that. And I was really looking forward to getting those machines or those trucks. I thought I was going to have them already, <laughs> in fact. And so I was on board, but it's just kind of made me reconsider. And, and I've been looking uh, a little bit stronger at, at GM and maybe I go that route or maybe I just hold off completely at this point. But either way, it costs them 200 grand, which again, nothing for them at the grand scheme of things. But if it rolls up into a whole collection of, of different negative consequences and it could have long-term effects that uh, that hurt them so uh, we'll see what happens i i'm back to the drawing board i haven't decided what i'm going to do now um but it's giving me some food for thought and maybe maybe there's some leftover super duties on the lot too that i wind up buying it could be i could go that route as well um not going to rule that out completely too but i do like to get my truck set up the way i want them and it uh, doesn't appear that's gonna happen if I wanna get one in 2023. So that's it, folks. I just thought it was an interesting topic there. Um, curious what you guys think about that too. I can see, see it from all different angles and I don't know if there's a right or a wrong answer. Um, I would just think that maybe there's something that could be learned from it and done differently the next time around. But we do mainly talk about tractors and tractor attachments around here. So if you are in the market for one of those, we would love to earn your business. We ship nationwide and we can get you stuff in 2023 still. So go to goodworkstractors.com, see what we have to offer. I wanna thank you for taking time out of your day to stop by, and until next time, stay safe, we'll see you soon.